If you remember at the end of the last episode, I was struggling with getting an Unbreaking 3 trade with the villagers in our new villager hall. And well, after literal hours of breaking and placing and breaking and placing and breaking and placing the lectern, I didn't get it. So I gave up. And then right as I gave up, randomly, when the trades refreshed, bam, we have an Unbreaking 3 book. So I both kind of got lucky and really unlucky at the same time. It would have been nice if that just appeared after the little hours it took of me just sitting there breaking the lectern and placing it over and over. But hey, I guess at least we have it now. Anyways, welcome back to a new episode. So you might be wondering what we're going to do today. And well, I'm going to tell you. Today, I figured it would be a good idea to just go ahead and create a little underground railroad that leads all the way from our base here to our mob spawner, more specifically our skeleton mob spawner. Oh, by the way, I killed a wandering villager off camera, so that's why these guys are there. Not sure what I'm going to do with them, but I tied them up. I've actually recorded this little part of the intro twice now because I'm still having that random problem where OBS just makes my microphone sound like a fishbowl. I'm going to throw a little clip up here right now so that way you can see what I'm talking about. I think I can just go like this. All right, netherite pickaxe. Yeah, it's pretty bad. If anybody knows why that was ha that's happening, it would be very much appreciated. It'll literally happen, and then if I restart OBS, and then it's just no longer an issue. Like, it fixes itself. So, if that sounds familiar and you know what the problem is, please let me know. It's driving me crazy. But yeah, during that whole segment of that stuff that I recorded where my microphone sounded bad, um, I went over there and crafted myself a netherite pickaxe over at my old base and as you can see i also have a ton of emeralds i've been just afking this farm and trading with the villagers there so we can have a bunch of emeralds to do book trades because one of the main reasons i want to build this underground railroad to get there is because i'm i, I want to here very soon enchant my netherite gear my netherite armor and then also make more netherite tools and enchant them and we have a mending trader villager whatever in there that we can get mending books from so it'd just be nice if we can go to the skeleton farm very easily when our gear is low on durability and just kill a bunch of skeletons and get all of our stuff repaired. By the way, I think I mentioned it, but this farm will get torn down and we're gonna make a much better farm. This whole area is probably gonna have like buildings and builds and stuff, like maybe make it look like a little village and stuff. And these farms are ugly. These are literally just here so I can AFK and trade with the villagers. So don't worry. We'll get rid of this. But yeah, our first order of business is going to be enchanting this netherite pickaxe with a bunch of the trades in there uh, with the villagers. So I have to get some books and I don't think I have any in any of these chests. So these are these are all the books I, I traded with to, uh, you know, so that way I could lock down the trades and stuff, which actually, speaking of which, we have an efficiency five, we have mending, and we have on breaking three, which is all I think I need for this pickaxe. So actually, I don't need to go trade with them. However, I do think I need an anvil or at least I'm going to have to look up what you need to do to use. I remember in the past, he was just using an anvil, but I haven't played Minecraft in a while. So it might be something different than an anvil to apply these books to this pickaxe. So let me go check real quick. And also, let me double check this damn audio too. Like I'm getting so sick of tired of recording stuff. And then the audio is just bad. Okay, so the audio is good, but unfortunately I did not have enough iron over here, so I can't make an anvil because it is an anvil that you need still to combine books into onto tools and stuff. So <sighs> I have to go run all the way over there again and uh, get some more iron. Hopefully I have iron over there, but I guess I guess we're going to find out. I have iron, but of course it's not smelted, so now I got to do that. Great. All right, I have enough iron now, so let's go ahead and create one more block, I believe, and then it should be, it just looks like an anvil. Yeah, there we go. Um, I don't want to place this here because I'm going to have to use this again, so let me go take it all the way over there. Let's just plop this thing on down right here. Boink. Okay, so what's the best way? Is it just doing something like this the best? Uh, I have a bunch of levels, so I don't think that's really the problem, but I'm just curious, like, should you be combining the books first and then doing that? I'm not sure. Really? It's only three to... Let me try that. Let me see. So I have it like this, and then I put that there, and then put this, 13. I don't know if I saved any levels doing that, but oh well. But cool, so we now have efficiency five, unbreaking three, and mending pickaxe. So 
the what we're going to do is I think I'm just going to extend these little hallways a little bit and then have a staircase that basically on the outside of these walls right here goes down and conjoins together somewhere at the bottom and I'm going to use that area as our farm that I'm going to build maybe next episode I'm not sure but I think the minecart will also be down there that we hop in there. Why down there? I don't know. I just don't know of any other good place to put it because I don't want to put it out here. I just want to leave this as a little entrance hall. But I don't know. Maybe like one of these. Uh, nah, let's just put it down there. Let's let's, let's do that. So I'm going to just go ahead and do that. I'm going to watch some YouTube videos. And so uh, um, what's the best way? So uh, I'll just show you real quick. So I plan on doing that and I realize I'm saying so a lot okay I, I I can't help it oh now I need I'm gonna need torches ah, thank goodness I have some coal let me just go ahead and craft uh, a bunch of torches here all right so what I am going to do is going to, we're gonna break this this stupid gravel is always just a, such a did I not put a torch there I guess I didn't Okay, so I need to extend this out. What I want to do is, I'm gonna take a guess here, and it sounds like, from just listening to it, it sounds like I'm parallel with these villagers in there. So I wanna create two more spots out. And I'm hoping I'm not about to break into our trading hall here. But yeah, this is what I'm looking at doing. I'm going to replicate this on the other side as well. But we're going to create a staircase that goes down. And then it's going to converge. And that whole area down there, we're going to have the minecart that takes us to our, uh, our mob spawner. And then we're also going to make that area down there our farm. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep working on this. And I'll cut in periodically here with updates. But I'm just going to chill and watch some YouTube while I do this. So yeah, I guess I'll, I'll be back. Okay, so what I didn't want to happen happens. As you can see, we can see wood from our trader village hall. So I'm going to go ahead and and this this wood will be replaced anyways. Or these this wall, I should say is going to be replaced with uh, design. So we're going to block up this whole section right here, like so. And then we're going to cut this out just once more. Of course, we got to deal with more gravel, because why not? Alrighty. And then we'll replicate this on this side, just pushing it all out once more. All right, so that's what it's going to look like. And like I said, it'll look like that over there, too. And I'm going to keep working on this. Oh, what the hell? Why is there silverfish here? Oh! Why is there silverfish here? Huh? Okay. Alright, well... There's silverfish, I'm not sure why. There's more silverfish! Why is there silverfish? Bro. Quit it! Oh my gosh. I swear, everything just has to be a pain in the ass, doesn't it? We, uh, you know, of course there's silverfish, of course. Like, why would there not be? Bro, okay, I'm gonna have to turn off my audio. Then going, ha, 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 ha. All in my ear, just all oh, while I'm doing this is driving me crazy. I'm literally gonna go mentally insane. Okay, so I made a lot of progress, as I'll show you right now. If you come over here, you can see this staircase leads down, and then as well as it's duplicated over on this side right here, here and obviously i haven't designed any of this yet i've literally just mined it out but oh gosh that's kind of scared me i don't know why um you come over here and basically i'm gonna make this be a staircase that goes down and that'll be our farm once we get around to making that but what we're really interested in is this right here so if you come over here this goes down and right here is where i'm gonna start the mine cart at and it's gonna mine cart us all the way down here and if you can see down there, I'm not sure if you can tell, well, actually you probably can, uh, but I've already started designing the, the bottom down here and I'll get down there in just a second. All right, and when you're down here, this is what you see. This is gonna be the tunnel design I'm gonna go with and I think it looks pretty nice. Maybe I'll change up the walls, but probably not. I'll probably just leave it kind of simple considering once you turn the corner, this goes down really far. So our X right now is 12. No, oh, no, sorry. Excuse me. Our Z is 1292. And this goes all the way to Z 790. So it's literally 
hundreds of blocks long but it does go exactly to our mob farm that we built in episode one please believe me when i say it goes all the way there please don't make me run all the way down there just to show you it is so far but i mean i guess oh, wrong button but i mean you'll you'll see that it goes all the way to the mob farm once we're done creating this because i absolutely obviously will will show the entire minecart ride down there to show that it actually does go to it but thank goodness for coordinate system in Minecraft. Otherwise, this would have been so difficult to try to get it to go to exactly where I want it to. But luckily, since I just lined it up using the uh, the X and the Z coordinates, and also the Y coordinates as well, it literally was exactly perfect. It mined right into the little room that we sit where we kill the skeleton. So that's great. So I guess the next thing I'm going to do is take these iron axes and go chop down a bunch of spruce trees for more spruce wood. And then we are going to get some more oak. I guess and then I'm currently cooking up some stone to make more stone bricks and stuff I think I'll just go ahead and grab a bunch of resources it, it definitely won't be enough to do this entire tunnel down there but at least I might as well just grab some now and then once I have all that I'm just gonna go ahead and just mine out this entire tunnel and then get to placing everything and that's gonna take so long so oh my gosh please like the video this is gonna <laughs> take me for ever all right but i guess i'll cut back in with a new update once i have one so it's more than a day later and i am super tired for some reason i don't know why but today's just one of the days where i'm so tired but i needed to give you all an update on how it's going so far the good news is, is I've got a lot of it done. The bad news is I still have a lot left to go. So the tunnel is completely mined out all the way to our mob spawner. And I have all of the pillars and at least this part of the ground uh, placed already. These little side parts are going to be covered up with like stairs and slabs. So I don't need to mine this out. So really all that's left to do is just design. So place all the slabs, all the stairs, all the stone. I got to mine out all of the wall pieces on both sides and put this, put the stone. And then we have to go ahead and go all the way back up our staircase over here. Yeah, all the way up there. And we got to start placing the minecart tracks that take us all the way to the very end. So, so this has proven to be a very Herculean task. I don't know if I said that right. But uh, yeah, once it's done, it'll look nice and pretty and it'll be very easy to get to our, our, our mob spawner. So it, it'll be nice. Like I said, it, it'll be well worth it. But yeah, I mean, yeah, that's the update for now. So I guess I'll cut back in once I have more progress. But for now, this is what we're working with. All right, well, I got another update for you guys. This is what I've done so far. I'm in the middle right now of putting these slabs everywhere. I'm kind of going through there like block by block. Like I went through first, added all of the oak blocks. And then when I was done with that, I added all the stairs blocks that needed to be added. Well, except for the roof ones. I'll get to that one next. Uh, and then after I was done with all the stairs, except for the roof stuff, because there's like a block, like I said, that goes like right here on both sides. Uh, I moved to the slabs and the slabs is currently what I'm working on and once I'm done with the slabs what I'll do is move back to the roof pieces with the uh, oak stairs and then from the oak stairs we will go ahead and replace the walls with all of the um oh whatchamacallit we'll replace all the walls with all the uh the um oh gosh the stone bricks that's what I was thinking of man I could not think of what that was but we'll replace the stone bricks and we also have to put slabs right here to cover these blocks right here but yeah that's what we have done so far and yeah that was just our next little update so I guess I'll cut back in once again with our next update I saw this YouTube short. I don't know if it's real or if I'm about to get trolled, but apparently they have a new type of golem in here that's these little hay dudes that can, uh, you know, mine crops and stuff. I have a feeling this is fake, but let me see. I went ahead and prepared for it by uh, collecting some weed, so I just crafted some hay bales, and we're going to try this out. Actually, you know what? I need some chests. All right, so I have some chests. Let's try this out. How do I make this a jack-o'-lantern? Do I need to use a, uh, an axe? So it's not a jack-o'-lantern, it's a carved pumpkin is what I need. And you apparently you do it with shears. I don't remember that being a, a thing. Tell me I have some iron in here. Oh my gosh, please tell me you have some iron. Please tell me. Okay, thank goodness. All right, so I got my shears. Let me carve this pumpkin here. Okay, so that did work. And I'm not sure how you make this. I haven't harvested my farm in a while, so you should be able to, if this is real, man, 
I'm so about to get trolled, aren't I? Uh, let me see. I'm gonna put down the chest just in case. Uh, Alright, so how do you do this? Is it like an iron golem, but with this? Like this? Huh. I think I just got trolled. Man, apparently it's a mod. I should have... I should have looked this up before I looked stupid. Man, screw me. Honestly, screw that guy on the short, too. He did not say that was a mod, and I haven't played Minecraft in a while, so how was I supposed to know? Anyways, I've made a lot of progress on it. I'm actually almost done. I have started decorating the insides here. Not sure if I like it, but for now, it's something. I just wanted to add some more spruce in it, so that way it was just wasn't just stone and uh, oak only. Um, but we'll, we'll see. Maybe we'll change it up. Maybe we'll upgrade the base layer. Changed all these to stairs just because I think it looks kind of cool. And then if you come down here, I wanted to start using spruce for this bottom part down there just because it looks good, but I wasn't sure how to make the stairs. So I was like, I tried to blend it so it kind of like faded into spruce, you know? Up, but I don't know so the tracks gonna start right here we literally have done everything except for the tracks and let me tell you this has taken forever this is the longest video I've ever made this is like days in the process just because it takes so long to mine everything and place all the blocks and everything but I have finally have it done other than the railroad but the railroad shouldn't take too long honestly but if we round the corner here you can see that it is all done. I'll just do a quick little run through. Yes, every wall is done. Every lantern's placed. Every, you know, stair slab and stuff is done all the way to the very end. And I guess I'll run all the way to the end and show you the room down there too because I did decorate it. And one year later, we ran the entire length of it and we are here and this is our mob spawner. Obviously, this stone brick is going to be where the minecart follows and it's going to stop right here and it takes us here. And I, like I had mentioned, in case you've forgotten earlier in the episode, the whole point of doing this is just so we have a fast route to get here because once I start enchanting my gear, like I had this pickup, which by the way, I put fortune three on this just to, I just went ahead and did it. Um, but once we have like all of our fully enchanted netherite gear, which we'll probably do very, very soon. Um, and then we have our fully enchanted tools and stuff. I just wanted a way to get here quick so that way we could kill skeletons to repair our tools since we do have a mending trader. But yeah, that's the update so far. I guess I'll start going ahead and placing all of the tracks and stuff and we'll we'll see how it uh how that goes. <laughs> Hopefully it's <laughs> nice and quick and not, doesn't take forever. But luckily we got all the hard stuff done. The entire tunnel and everything's done. It's literally the only thing left to do is just put the tracks. So yeah, I got to go and get all my tracks now, which luckily... I've collected a bunch. Oh, I just realized I'm gonna have to go mine all those tracks. That because remember last episode was it last episode? Maybe it was two episodes. I don't know. I record a lot of these episodes in advance. Whenever we created the villager trading hall, yeah, that was last episode. We had to mine cart to them over from the village. So I used all of my tracks to to make a railroad to the village. So I'm gonna have to go and mine all of those. Great. Yeah, <laughs> that just made this take twice as long now. Oh my gosh. I mean, at least this pickaxe mines super fast. That's a plus. Bought a hardcover copy of the entire The Last Ronin series at Target, and I've already am completely in love with it. It is so good. I am definitely going to collect them all in the comic book form in high grades. It's just, oh, it's amazing. If you haven't read it, you really need to. I don't know a whole lot about the Ninja Turtle stuff, but I mean, it, it's been like so good. I just hear so many good things about it. And I've been reading the second, you know, Last Ronin 2 re-evolution that came out. I probably should have read the Last Ronin first one first before starting to read that, but I didn't. So yeah, but I highly recommend it. And I'm excited to get all the issues in high grade. I just be honest with y'all. I cannot wait for this episode to be done. I swear there's always just something little that pops up that just makes this take even longer than it should have look look at the current bs i'm dealing with so if we break underneath this block right here and then we mine down because we got to put we got to put a redstone torch right to power this well i use slabs and if you break this and you place it there it doesn't work so now i had to get a bunch of slabs and look, now I have to go underneath them, and then I have to place one, and then I'll get these out of here. And then I gotta build up like this, and then place that, and now it's ready. So I'm gonna have to do that with every single one of them, because I use slabs trying to save resources. I can't wait for this to be done. Oh my goodness. This is just good. I thought this was gonna be a really quick process. This just took probably about three times longer than it was supposed to now. My goodness, I am pissed off.
And just like that, we are finished. Yes, that is right. I have completely finished it and I am so happy that this thing is finally done. I have not tested it yet. I'm assuming it works just fine, but that's what we're going to do right now. So here we go. Let's place down a minecart right here. Let's hop on in and press the button. Bye, skeletons. And then there we go. Whee! I forgot how loud these are. I, these are actually pretty loud. But yeah, let's go ahead and just ride the entire way. Make sure we get to the top with no issues at all. I think it came out pretty cool. Like, I like the design. I'm not the best uh, designer, builder, whatever the hell you want to call it in Minecraft at all. I a lot of times have to get inspiration from other builds. But this one, I kind of came up on my own. And uh, yeah, I like it. I, I think it's pretty good. All right, here we go. Going to the top. Oh, yeah. Yep. No problems at all. We're going to make it sweet. So we have finished our railroad to our mob spawner. That is great news. Man, that took forever. But the great news, like I said before, is that it is completely done now. We now have a fast track to get to our little mob XP farm. So that way we can get our armor and get our items nice and repaired. So what I'm actually going to go do now is I'm going to edit all the footage. I have about half of the footage edited that I've recorded. I'm going to go ahead and edit all the footage now. See how long the episode is. I have a feeling it's not super long because it was mainly just cutting in and out of me showing progress because obviously it'd be a little bit boring to show me building everything down there and you just kind of got to cut in and out, you know, for YouTube to make it more entertaining. So I'm going to edit all the footage, see how long the episode is. If it's very short, we'll go ahead and do something else. If not, I'll cut back in and do a little outro. Okay, so I finished editing all the footage that I had, and I think we are at a good stopping point. Everything else I want to do is kind of like good for its own episode, not to be kind of at the end of the already existing episode. So I think we are at a pretty good stopping point, like I had mentioned. Next episode, I think we're gonna do something with these villagers, and no, it is not an iron farm. If you're watching this far, you can go ahead and leave a guess in the comment section as to what we'll be doing with these guys, but I've got another idea with them based off of a video it got recommended to me, and I was like, huh, I didn't know you could do that with them. So so I think that's what we're going to do, but I don't want to spoil it until it comes out. But yeah, if you're watching this far, I guess thanks for watching the episode. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe or don't. It's your choice. Also, real quick before we go, thank you all so much for the support. The first two episodes are out and they've done incredibly well. Episode three is almost out as of this, this recording. It's all uploaded and stuff, but I have them scheduled for weekly releases. So yeah, they've done really well. So is the shorts that I've been putting out to kind of like advertise the episodes. They've done fantastic received a lot of support so i just want to thank y'all for that that's awesome but yeah i guess that's it i'll catch y'all later